The vitamin of life is produced by the body with sun exposure. Vitamin D is an extremely important vitamin that has a powerful effect on many organs throughout the body. Some of the risk factors for having a low level of vitamin D or a vitamin D deficiency is getting little sun exposure, having a darker skin, being older in age, not eating fish frequently, and much more. So in today's video, I'll reveal eight common signs and symptoms of a vitamin D deficiency and what you can do about it to relieve your symptoms naturally and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line and appointment of quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and I encourage you to stay till the end of this video where I'm going to reveal extra tips and video links related to this topic. Unlike many other vitamins, vitamin D functions like a hormone, and every single cell in the body has a receptor for it. This is one of the reasons why vitamin D is such an extremely important vitamin and has such a powerful effect on several systems throughout the body. Most people don't realize they have a vitamin D deficiency because their symptoms are usually subtle. If you have a deficiency for vitamin D, you might be tired, you may have bone loss or hair loss, depression, and much more. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal eight common signs and symptoms of a vitamin D deficiency and what you can do about it to relieve your symptoms naturally and effectively. Number one, you might have a vitamin D deficiency if you're tired all the time. Feeling tired all the time has many causes and vitamin D deficiency is one of them. The biggest problem with having a vitamin D deficiency is that in most cases, it's commonly overlooked. Tens of case studies all over the world have shown how a very low blood level of vitamin D can cause fatigue or even a severe effect on the quality of life of these individuals. Many women who complain with having a chronic daytime fatigue or a headache have been found to have a very low vitamin D level in their blood. When these patients take a vitamin D supplement, their levels usually increase and they resolve their condition. Most people don't realize they could have a vitamin D deficiency. If you don't go out to the sun as much or you stay indoors all the time, be careful because you might have a low level of vitamin D in the body. If you need a quality supplement to ensure that all the vitamin D you need is being ingested on a daily basis, I suggest you look for multivitamin from Finelight, which you could find at drlandivar.com. This formula contains vitamin D and every other vitamin and mineral you need and 42 different fruit and vegetable extracts for proper body function. Number two, hair loss. Hair loss is often attributed to stress, which is another very important cause for this condition. However, when hair loss becomes severe, it could be a result of a nutrient or a vitamin D deficiency. For example, hair loss in women has been linked to low levels of vitamin D. As a matter of fact, low vitamin D levels are also linked to alopecia areata, which may be a risk factor for developing this terrible disease where you lose incredible amounts of hair. So if you're experiencing hair loss, in little or large amounts, I suggest you try exposing your skin to the sun, eating vitamin D rich foods like fish, liver, or even taking a natural supplement to improve this condition. These are all very important things you need to be doing to keep those levels stable and healthy in the body. If you need something effective for hair loss, try looking for HSN factors from Finland, which you can find at drlandivar.com. Number three, bone or back pain. Millions of people suffer every day from bone and back pain, and believe it or not, this could be a result of years of a vitamin D deficiency. You see, vitamin D improves the absorption for calcium, which obviously later down the road forms healthy bones. And this is the main reason why a vitamin D deficiency can cause that bone or lower back pain due to low levels of bone formation and maintenance. In one study, researchers have found that people with a vitamin D deficiency were more likely to have back pain, including that severe back pain that limits our abilities to have our activities during the day. Vitamin D is a lot more important than you imagine. Never underestimate the power of one simple vitamin. Number four, being depressed. If you have a poor mood or you're feeling depressed, this could mean that you're also vitamin D deficient. Especially in older adults, being depressed has been strongly linked to this vitamin. 
For example, in one analysis, 65% of the observational studies found a relationship between low levels of vitamin D and depression. In other scientific studies, researchers have also found that giving vitamin D to people who are deficient in this vitamin helps improve their depression and in this category we also include those seasonal depressions due to low light or sunlight during the day. Some foods that you can eat to improve that vitamin D availability in the body include organic liver, fatty fish, fish like tuna, organic salmon, cheese, and even egg yolks. This is all very important and very, very useful. Number five, getting sick frequently. One of the most important roles of vitamin D is keeping your immune system strong to fight off diseases, viruses, and bacteria. This nutrient interacts directly with the cells that are responsible for fighting an infection, so it's extremely important. If you become sick frequently, especially with colds or flu, having low levels of vitamin D may be a contributing factor to this condition. For example, several observational studies have found a link between the deficiency of this vitamin and respiratory tract infections, including colds, bronchitis, and even pneumonia. And this is why taking a vitamin D supplement of close to 4,000 international units per day is an excellent idea. This reduces the risk for disease, respiratory tract infections, and boosts your immune system. Another way to do this is by using a natural formula, something like I'm Defense from Fineland, which contains special herbs and mushroom extracts to improve the immune system overall. You can find I'm Defense at drlandivar.com. Number six, bone loss. If you remember what I mentioned earlier, vitamin D plays an extremely important role in calcium absorption, bone formation, and bone maintenance. Most older adults who are diagnosed with bone loss think they need to take a lot more calcium to solve the problem. But the truth is that they may be deficient in vitamin D as well. You see, low bone mineral density is an indication that the bones have lost calcium and other minerals. And what vitamin D does is help calcify your bones to prevent this from happening. In menopausal women, for example, this is very, very important. Researchers have found a strong link between low levels of vitamin D and low bone mineral density. And this is why an adequate intake of vitamin D and maintaining those blood levels stable within that optimal range is a good strategy to protect your bone mass overall and reduce those risks for fractures. Number seven, muscle pain. I've seen several of my patients suffer from muscle pain due to a vitamin D deficiency. And believe it or not, today there's quite some evidence in how a vitamin D deficiency can be a potential cause for muscle pain in both children and even adults. This is incredible, but in one study, 71% of people with chronic pain were found to be vitamin D deficient. So you see, vitamin D receptors are present in the nerve cells that sense pain in our body. And in one study, rats that showed a deficiency in this nutrient had more stimulations to pain in their muscles than usual. The incredible thing about this is that some studies have seen how taking a vitamin D supplement or high doses of vitamin D can help reduce many of the types of pain in people who are deficient in this nutrient. Number eight, slow wound healing. Another very important sign of a vitamin D deficiency is a slow healing process of your wounds, especially after injuries or a surgery. The power of this vitamin to help in the healing process is amazing. It's very useful because it increases the production of compounds that are crucial for the formation of new skin, more collagen, and as part of the wound healing process. So once again, never forget that this vitamin is extremely important in all aspects of your health. Help out the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or a line of appointment, visit drlandivar.com.
And right over here, I suggest you check these other videos related to this topic. You're going to find valuable information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.